welcome to Epcot and specifically welcome to France. That's right, today we're gonna focus on the French Pavilion here because it's, it's pretty neat. It's a place that we often, you know, we come to and we enjoy the sounds and the sights and the smells and the taste. But today, we're gonna get a little bit of a deeper dive, go in to France, get a little bit of our culture, our, our get, get, get cultured? Is that what it is? Maybe. Anyways, what's France? Guys, we're, we're totally going to uh, France here. And so to get to France, you gotta go over this bridge. Over the canal, this might be the canal, right? The French canal, is that a thing? Might be a thing, but it's a thing here. But as you can see, the Eiffel Tower up there. Wow. Not just that, there's other things. Let's go take a closer look. But first, you know, it is Epcot. So we did go see a couple other things. We did some, oh, we did a ride. We did test track. We got some food from the Mac Eats, and of course, uh, something else, a lobster retreat or something like that. Now it's time for French cuisine. Let's get our culture on. Mm. Of course, one of the things you can do in France is eat, and they have a wonderful restaurant called Le Chez de France. Ah, oh, look at that, Le Chez de France. It's supposed to be super fancy. Service a la carte, specialities, regionalis, plat du jour. Look at that, plat du jour. Of course, Le Chez de France, and the other thing you can do is, uh, of course, during the Food and Wine Festival, you have the France kiosk here, but also this here is the La Vigne de Chefs de France, uh, which is always here where you can get your specialty frozen type drinks, French inspired. And of course, in France, you have art, right? So you got your Monet's, your Melee's, your La Dunier Rosé's. It's so beautiful here in France. Oh, look, and we have the Ratatouille area opening 2021. It is 2021 now, and we're going inside. So let's go see what's uh, going on over there. Oh, and back here over in the Remy area, yeah, it's actually a little bit of a, a secret pass holder entrance type thing. It's not actually open yet, but by the time you see this, it'll probably be open October 1st. We should be all good, but right now, you have to have a reservation to get in here. And look, we're inside of the other part of the France Pavilion. So there's more to just France than just the front. There's the back. The back of France. And if you want to eat it, the uh, the old frippery. To Paris, there's actually two lines, right? So they've got the, the window line and you've got the inside line, right? So if you got the window line, that's over on the far side as you first come in, but you gotta go a little bit further to come into the inside line. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to go inside where you can get your crepes of galettes. Ooh, inside there. Oh, so here's where we have to eat at Le Creperie de Paris. You got entree, soup du jour, salad maison, galettes, which is classique, poulet, chevre, saumon, ratatouille, savoyardé. And then you have crepes, gourmande, banana, melba, pois, pomme, and the prefix menu, which is choice of one super salad, one galette with a glass of hard cider soda or juice, choice of one dessert, crepe selections of ciders, hard ciders. Oh, amazing. Oh, man, so we just ordered and I think we chose wisely to sit inside instead of going to the window because it's nice and cool in here and it just uh, it's just kind of neat. We got art on the wall. See art as we come in and we have nice lighting and stuff as you come in here and it's just a nice place to just hang out and just chill out for a little bit before the craziness uh, of getting back out into the park, you know what I mean? Ooh, du jour. Du jour sounds delicious. And the soup of the day is potato leek and it's pretty good. I really don't know what leek tastes like but tastes pretty good. You get to choose from the ciders, and there's three ciders you can choose from. There's root, which is their driest cider, demi sec, which is like between dry and sweet, and then the dope, or do, whatever, is their sweetest. So I decided to get the demi sec. That's pretty good. Um, I got a orangina. It contains 12% juice. I got a nice Cronenberg from 1664. That's an old one. Oh yeah. 
Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh, easy, easy, easy. Oh yeah, that's too perfect. Ooh, look at that. I mean, I, you like how it goes over the top a little bit? But Jessica's gonna let me try a little bit of her soup here. Not let you. It's kind of. We're sharing. We're sharing a little bit. It's kind of cool. It's got a little animal face on it. This is the potato and leek. Oh man, that is. That's delicious. We got our crepes. Uh, Jessica just had her first bite. Just J Jr. just had his first bite as well. She got the salmon, which is like salmon, right? Pretty good. Thumbs up. Jr. got the classique. It looks pretty good. He, he broke the egg. And I got the um, sem, what did I get? The Saviard Saviard egg. The Savoy Saviard. That's the one I got. It looks good. I haven't tried it yet. It's really good. It's really filling. It's very balanced. Not too sweet, not too savory. It's very nice, like in the middle. It's very good. I would say it's very balanced. That's a delicious thing. And uh, I think it might be time to shrink down to the size of mice, rats, actually. All right, let's go do some uh, uh, rat tattooey. Well, this is really fun in here. We got our face mask on. We're in line for the, the rat tattooey now. Look at that. You see any secrets? Rats? Spoons? Fork cheese. Remember, remember, food always comes to those who love to cook. I would say, unlike many cues, this one is very quiet. And like, I feel like I need to whisper. Wow, look at that. We're already feeling like we're shrinking down into row six. Whoop, we're in this guy. And this guy right there. Okay. Wow. It feels so. Oh, look out for that one. Dang, watch out, guy. I really did enjoy that. That was a nice ride. Now, let's take a look around the actual outside here. Ooh. Oh, it is a neat place out here. Let's get a little closer look. Ratatouille Remy area in the new expansion for France, but we still got more French stuff to see, like French treats and French sweets, French things. One of the other areas in France is, is they have the, the, the place, the Plume de Palette in the arcade. It's not like a regular arcade with like arcade games, but like a different type of, arc of arcade. What does that mean? I don't know. We're going into the Sorge Vers La Parmenade. Ooh, plants. And over here by the ever popular La Hall de Patisserie. Got that stuff down the hall there. Down the hall, get it? Down the hall. And you guys also have La Artisan de Glace. That's where you get the cool ice cream sandwiches. But you also have Monsieur Paul. Do you know about this place? This place is, uh, it seems fancy. I don't know, I've never been here, but uh, it's kind of hidden. It's like a gourmet restaurant located on the second floor. Uh, up here, hidden. Not so hidden, kind of hidden, back here in the French Pavilion. And if you want 16 flavors of traditional French recipes, then head on over to La Artisan de Glace. Is that how you say that? La Artisan des de Glace. Ice cream place. So if you go up to the thing, right, 
you order your food, and then you get to the secondary line right by the wall here. Or by the wall, right, right by the window. And you wait for your ticket to go wait in line. And you present your ticket at the end, and then you make the food, and then you get your treats. Thank you. La Artisan de Glace, right? That's a ice cream place. We got a couple of things. JR got a ice cream cone. Jessica got a, uh, what do you call this thing? Basically an ice cream sandwich on a brioche bun. Well, I chose caramel syrup, and then they put, um, I chose a caramel ice cream, and they put it on the bun, then they put the bun, the top of the bun on it, and then they uh, closed it in, a, like, basically like a waffle maker. And then, so it's kind of almost like a warm, but it's really not warm anymore. The ice cream's still cold, so it's not hot or anything. Uh. Looks good though. Yeah. I wonder if it tastes good. I wonder. Tastes James wonders good. if it tastes good. James is busy videoing, Mom. Mm. And then from La Artisan de Glace, like the ice cream shop, you got La Hall. Down at the end, La Hall, Boulangerie, Patisserie, Cafe Boutique, De Cadeau. Let's walk in here and see what the, this is all about. Oh yeah, La Hall. Let's go in here. It's kind of like a train station a little bit. Not quite like a total train station, but I mean, it just makes me feel like a train station just because of the, uh, oh, look, because the goods. You can get a hat. A Remy Ratatouille hit. But this is why it makes me think of a train station because of the top here. This makes me think of some sort of train station because I guess the, the circular type top here. Right in here, this is where the uh, the France show uh, exits right here. You also have the Boulangerie Patisserie right over here where you can get some wonderful fresh baked goods. And you see there's always a line, almost always a line. There is a line right now. Seems like there's always a line, but Oh yeah, you can get this uh, menu bon appetit, croque monsieur, croissant au chocolat, quiche Lorraine, Napoleon eclair a la vanilla, and so much more. That place has a lot of a lot of really good things. And at the other end there, there's a little a little window, like a walk-up window, where you can get some uh, coffee and whatnot. And then once you get your sweet treats at the boulangerie patisserie, you can possibly get a, a, a chair here. Uh, sometimes you can get us a, a table. Uh, it's hard to get, so when you find one, definitely get it. Uh, but it's a nice place to sit and chill in the AC before heading back out. And to, uh, you know what, the, today's not so bad. Today's not so bad. Oh, look, I know those people. Hey, look, what are you guys doing here? What, that's funny. Fancy meeting you here. And then once you leave the patisserie, you gotta do some shopping, right? So there are some shopping places here where you can get some fancy perfumes and some fancy shirts and dresses. Like that, you can get a fancy dress. It says library. I don't remember too many books in there, but you can definitely get some fancy smell good and some dresses here. But this is a fun place. This is where the, uh, also at the very end of the street here is the Beauty and the Beast sing-along. Next show is in nine minutes. So if you're ready, go in there and get it. And of course, another nice thing here in the France Pavilion is this wonderful garden here that's like a, a maze. You can't get in there. Or you can, but I don't think you're supposed to. It's, it's fenced off all the way. If you go in there, I'm pretty sure they will ask you to leave and maybe never come back again. But you can at least look at it. Uh, this is the end of the street where the uh, Beauty and the Beast sing-along is and the perfume place here. And right across the way is a nice place everybody loves to sit with the, uh, across from the Ch Le, Le Chez de France. Uh, they have a nice little fountain there. And then I guess where we uh, started at, we're actually gonna end going over the bridge, over the bridge to, uh, to or from France, right? So we're going back over the UK. So that is, I guess, the, uh, the channel, right? The channel? The English Channel from England to France. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. We enjoyed having you come along with us. We'll see you in the next one as far as we're concerned. Ooh, by the way, if you did enjoy this, maybe hit the old subscribe and the like button. How about that? It's a thing that you can do for free, no cost to you whatsoever. But anyways, we'll see you in the next one as far as we're concerned. Yes, that was, hmm, pretty cool. man these mm. are very good in all that is holiness of all the crepes these are good <laughs>